Every girl who's single in her 30s has experienced the shame of being single in her 30s. They have seen people giving pity looks. Uh, the questions asking them when are they finally going to meet someone and start a family? Aren't you not feeling lonely? Do you want someone to share your life with? Well, the solution to this is if you ask me is to get divorced and throw in a mental health condition also <laughs> trust me the society will leave you alone and all they would want is you to be happy every family has one sibling who has frequent heartbreaks doesn't know how to manage their money is never at home and is a total pain in the ass in my family it's me hi i'm the problem it's me celebrities pictures use it's a fake account i'm like it's my pictures <laughs> i used my pictures and got banned so that's amazing that's great anyway so that happened yan avarku mail aichittund that ennodu onnu parayu enda prashna nu let's see so good start to dating life so yan thompson nodu oru cheriya kaaryam parannullu ulli ariya And this is what he did. Itre only am I meeting Marty. Yeah, yeah. Front to back, we itre boy kenya. I mean, na meche. Na lekhte ida. Ande pangiti madhi na orne. Even in only only boy kile. Single girl at thirty five has bigger problems. Like onion problems. Itre pias ka pata kya daam hai abhi? Chhe? Makhan hai. You know what? I've been lately thinking a lot about being single and being in my 30s. And uh, trust me, when I was younger, this is not how I imagined it to be. <laughs> I imagined having met the guy and gotten married to him or would have had a child or two by this time. But here I am with you guys decoding 30. Good morning everyone. Today we are going on a walk. That's Thompson with two dogs. Namle Bruno ne aadhe tane kuchh walk no no and he is not on leash. So we are trying this for the first time. I hope I don't have to run after him. But yeah. Hey, he left. Okay. So last time I told you that I was on Tinder and Tinder blocked me. Uh, there's one more piece of information that I didn't share with you guys, and I was like, mm, maybe I don't have to share. 
but here I am going to share this gossip. <laughs> the thing is, I uh, was talking to this one gentleman. Like we we had a great rapport. We were talking throughout throughout the night. Allah, one one pandran mani or ep namle chatte ho. And then the next morning, I was blocked. Right? I he didn't know my name. He didn't know anything about me. The only thing I had. He knew about me. He knew my first name. He didn't know who I was. He didn't know anything about me. He knew uh, where I stay, like a particular area, Ernakulam um, area, and he knew my first name. And I was like, "Ayo, kash tai pollo, nalle rala to samzar kya no?" And I didn't connect with. And then I wrote a mail to Tinder saying that, "Hey, listen, what's going on? Can can you do something about it?" But I didn't get any. I didn't hear from them. But this person, this gentleman, I don't know his talking ability was A one. The next day morning when I got up and I was just chumming to check here the bomb and the Gmail in or mail one that said, "Hey, this is J. Uh, just try my luck or something like that." And we reconnected and we are gonna meet for a for a drink or for like for a coffee and. Uh, I'm excited. What about you guys? Are you excited to know what's going to happen? Very soon. Really? Lunch. Oof. Lunch ke liye nahi aana. Lunch ke liye ja rahe hain. Par wait. Oh, I'm Jason. Mere ko date hai. Main date pe ja rahi hu. Tum se tera tera Tinder kaise chal raha hai? I'm going to dress up for my date and get ready. So, I'll update you guys with what's happening. I am not sure what to wear. Should I wear Indian? Should I wear Western? Should I just go casual? What, according to you, is a best outfit for first date? Comment below. Jinji, bro. Kari and Baba, Baba. All right. So this is how I am going to dress for my date. No foundation, nothing. Just the red lipstick and mascara. And I'm wearing this really nice dress and the headpiece. I just got back from the date. I went to this really interesting place uh, next to. In Fort Cochin, Niyati no varne oru homestay onna. Na thotta arthu Francis ba. I went there. It was a nice day. Guess what? He is leaving to US in three days. In two like na the day after tomorrow he is leaving to US. So we just had a good time. Like paying kare bote bote kashta par thana. Namla aringi lai to connect thana. Yeah. Namke oh you know what there is a spark. Oh, there must be something. Let's see what can happen. No ke chhod chindiyo. And then when you meet them, either they are looking for something casual, a hookup, or something like that, or they want to have a like a serious relationship, but they don't live in your city. They are living in in another country altogether, or they have kids. <laughs> That's dating in thirty. <laughs> He's divorced with two kids, by the way. So that's that. So this was my one day, um, one day, Allah. Kuch the us angal, namlo shoot here the the, one me chaki, putting it out here for you guys to see. This, these, these videos are gonna come every once in every two weeks. I will be just collecting my thoughts, my dating, my life, my general this thing, and putting it out here. I hope you guys like it. Please, 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 please uh, like, share, and subscribe. As an unattached thirty-something, you have a perfect combination of financial resources, good health, and a life experience, which collectively allow you for possibilities of total transformation of your life. without having to consider what everyone else in your life wants or needs this is rare and magical and you will miss it when it's gone <laughs>
so i have decided to take advantage now and to do things i have always said i would love to do so come be part of my journey